United States is one of the most quote unquote most powerful okay. positions mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh the world you not, not that Barack Obama's because Barack Obama didn't do anything for black people specifically. Kamala Harris Kamala said, Harris. She asked in the interview, what do you believe in reparations? She said, No, I'm not gonna do anything specifically for blacks. No, this is who you want to vote for? All to keep Donald J. Trump out. You need to be re-examined of your American status because now it's not so much you vote for Republican or vote for Democrat, Brother Clifton. It's a matter, is our country going to survive as it is right now and has been? It's on very shaky ground. It's through, we, on, we had a three-legged stool and one stool is about, to, one leg is about to collapse. And you mean to tell me that you are willing to watch the water come over to the bow of your Titanic and you're saying you're okay with that? You need to reassess. Are you, well then won't you just leave the country? Why don't you leave the country if you don't like it here? There are others that will be glad to take your place. But I'm asking and talking to Americans that want it better. I am your man. The people that are asking these questions talking about stolen elections, this is a result of a stolen no, election. Stolen election. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm just making a point. Okay. When you have people that are supporting illegals as if they were Americans, they don't do Americans like that. The veterans will tell you if you go to any veterans hospital, they don't have the resources they should have even before the illegals got here. And for those to set up these sanctuary cities, which President Donald J. J. Trump said day one, we're gonna end sanctuary status in America. It doesn't work. We're not gonna hide these people. We're not gonna cobble these people. These politicians that are gaining all this money, Brandon Johnson has spent over 400 and they came. Now they're telling him, please don't come no more. What's in the chat room? Listen, if, if we ask, 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 no, okay, no, ask the question. The issue of it is, if you don't like the answer, I'm going to give it to you straight with no chaser. We are in a situation that this may be the last election we ever had. If yes. we don't put mature people that know how to handle a country, not rape it, not rape it like they're doing now. We need these people out of there. We need Donald Trump as president because he not only has an excellent business, the Trump organization, he was president for four years, had no wars. He said, I'm going to bring that Ukraine-Russia war to an end in 24 hours. Joe Biden ain't saying that because he's not trying. He wants Ukraine because that's how he and his people are getting money. They're getting our money. You see? Now that's being put on the back end down the road. He'll be dead and gone. But their people, he wants to ensure that these people remain paid. They haven't built anything. Donald Trump knows how to create and build things. I'm an inventor. Look me up, Marcus Lewis. I have two or three patents out there. More, but the point of it is, if he was a statesman, he would stand up and say, I will put my record up against anyone. If I have a name that everybody knows, you know, like in the movie Distinguished Gentlemen, you know, vote for the name you know, that nonsense, okay, you're gonna vote for the name you know. <laughs> but the thing about it is, the name isn't giving you the things for all of us isn't advocating for all of us, then you have the wrong, you're, you're gonna punch the wrong name. You want M-A-R-C-U-S-L-E-W-I-S. That's the one you want because, oh, well, we don't know you. Well, let me tell you something. Do you really know Jonathan Jackson? Do you really know? Do you really know? I ain't talking about, oh, he's a, he's a frat brother. He's not like, no, 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 I'm not talking about that. 
I'm not talking about those associations because those associations only help them. Look what happened um, uh, two days ago. Instead of Kamala Harris, her job as vice president was to um, oversee the joint session of Congress for uh, Israel, uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Whether she liked him or not, it's not the issue. That's your job. And she chose to go to Indiana to a sorority function. Yes. To a sorority function. You are the yep. vice president of the United yep. States of America. You were in the wrong place. Yes. But you had to give it to your girls. It shows a total instant, instant, instant um, being insensitive to the people that you are supposed to uh, uh, represent. You're supposed to be representing your country. And then she goes into a private meeting and coming out and she says all these flowery things that I know her Hamas protest backers really would have thrown a boot at her. But the point I'm saying is their priorities are all backward. They can also be used as an army because they were a majority of um, um, males of military age. You ever noticed that? And you know, it's easy to let someone in. It's hard to get them out because President Trump said it's gonna take the military to get these people out of here. They're not gonna leave peacefully. I'm not, um, what they say, forecasting. I want this to be a peaceful um, depopulation, mass depopulation of our, because they want to the birthright, the naturalization birthright that's in the Constitution. I'm saying if you are genuine, there's no anchor babies here, you have got to go. You didn't come here legally. Uh, hear me. Do you understand what I'm saying? You didn't come here legally. I'll give you a story. Al Sharpton gave a story a long time ago saying there was a robber. He went to somebody's house and he was caught taking out somebody's TV. They called the police, apprehended him, and then took the TV in as evidence. Yes. He went to court and just like they're doing now, these prosecutors, the judge let the man go and added insult to injury, injury to insult, insult to injury, they say. They let the robber keep the TV. Mm -hmm. I'm saying all of that. These illegals want to make things difficult, and there are those that are here that want to see them stay. Oh, she's and she's been a good worker for me, and you know? he's been a good worker. Oh, why can't you let him stay? You just a, you're bad. You're... Let's get back to basics. They're here yeah. illegally. It's illegal yes. to be here, and if our laws don't mean anything. Then, when it's your turn, all of a sudden you're going to want the law enforced. You see, and so we can't do this. This lawlessness and chaos, the Democrats, this is the result of a stolen election. We went from peace and order. You know, God says he does things what decently and in order. What we have now is total chaos and a justification for continued uh, chaos. No, 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 no. I'm not cut from that cloth. If you don't like me, don't vote for me. You only got one vote. Well, I don't know because, you know, Democrats are going to cheat, so you might have 10 votes that you you use your first vote and then you'll put 10 in that drop box. Look, this is the mess that was made for us, Clifton. I've never seen our country in such disarray. And there are those that like chaos got their popcorn, their jujus, and their mints, and they're sitting there just enjoying all the carnage that these people, it's going to take years to bring our country back. But we're going to do it. Yeah. And Bleach bit 30,000 emails, basically destroyed them. And you had a DOJ that allowed her to get away with that. You had Comey of the FBI that felt that even though she had violated this and violated that. He said, no um, prosecutor, but prosecutor. Then you get to Joe Biden who had uh, documents that under the Presidential Record Act, he did not have right to have. Only the president can make documents um, where they were once 
uh, classified to unclassified. Only the president can do that. The only president that's been charged is Donald Trump. And they're saying he had no right to unclassify anything because they're saying at 12 uh, midnight, I mean at 12 noon, the 20th of January, and I wanted to bring something to your attention. I want you to go back in history and I want you to look at it. We had two presidents at one time. Yes. Yes. Because for 13 minutes, for 13 minutes, we had two presidents yeah. at one time. They, they, they gave the oath of office to Joseph Robinette Biden 13 minutes before 12. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump was still the president at the time, and he had the documents. He took it to Mar-a-Lago. He had a right to have them because he declassified them. Joseph Robinette Biden has not done it. He is because... Well, in all due respect, because he has a DOJ that is coddling for him. Period. It's almost like Joseph Robinette Biden and all the Democrats can do no wrong. And when you have someone that says, you know, like um, uh, the uh, special prosecutor, her, when he interviewed him, said, well, he's just a forgetful old man and that no um, um, jury in their right mind would, would convict him. That's not for you to say, that's for the jury to decide. The issue of it yes. is, the prima facie case is he has documents he has no business having. Therefore, yes. we're gonna charge him. Oh no, we don't wanna charge him. Because um, um, uh, special um, uh, prosecutor her wants to go home because they probably threatened yes. him. Yeah. In some form of fact, look, when you get to that level, that's why Kamala Harris will become president before this is all over with in this year. Not being elected, God forbid, but to be, if to become the nominee, but they're going to switch seats here because see, we'll be getting caught up in, well, they, they got a lot of things here. Let me tell you something. Even if you were a murderer and they're saying that you stole a bottle of water, just because you happen to have been a murderer don't mean that you are guilty of stealing that bottle of water because oh well he's a murderer yes. so he must be wrong he must no uh, yes evidence prove it not what you can say what can you show if this man had been a hate monger of black people he still has constitutional rights now i'm not saying i'm personally for that but if you're going to be a judge which is what you're saying to be a judge Judge this man's character. He's a he's a proud boy. I don't care what he is. What did he do that day that got him put in jail? See, this is the difference between us and a third world country that don't want to be, don't want to go by our laws. I do. I want persons' constitutional rights. I want them to have what they call due process. And in order to have due process, that means he has a right to have a lawyer unless he wants to represent himself. He has a right to go through the process to put forth evidence. And if it doesn't match, mark, I mean, uh, stand up, he'll be convicted. And then he'll be rightfully <laughs> Outside of that, let's not get caught up in what they may be. I'm just trying to get, get, get some content. I remember when he said it. And I only have an opinion, Brother Clifton. Yes. The only thing I can say is when he said there were good people on both sides, obviously it makes one cringe to say that the... Uh, Aryan nation or whatever they are have good people but in actuality they may have good people just like on our side that we would we would um, assimilate with has bad people and good people too the issue of it is is the person that said it that's where the rift really is they don't like Donald Trump period you know why they don't like Donald Trump because he gets things done and they know what he stands for. He, as president, said Jesus Christ is Lord over the old sides. Let me tell you something. The only one that has exhibited evil are the ones that are doing what they're doing to Donald Trump. 34 counts that were absolutely nonsense to strip him of his money and his liberty frivolous a woman that 20 years ago said he walked her into some um, 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 a room at a store 
and sexually assaulted her, yet she can't remember the day. She can't remember what she had on. She can't remember anything. And she went on Rachel Maddow saying after she got this $89 uh, million, remember she had already been given $5 million, and just simply because he's uh, Donald Trump said something contrary to that, all of a sudden they go back to court and get $89 million more, of which I don't believe if the process works out, she's probably not going to get a dime. But the issue of it is these are the type of nonsensical issues they're bringing it upon him. What could one man have done that he deserves 94 charges from all democratic uh, areas and cities and prosecutors? So this is a political thing. All of them, there's not one Republican prosecutor here. They're, 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 it's ridiculous. I'm not standing up for him. I'm just calling it what it is. I'm an outsider watching it just like you. But I want you to, but I have, I'm looking at all the information. And these are Democratic prosecutors. Democratic, all of them. <coughs> these issues that are bringing up are so lightweight. That's why the documents case got thrown out in Florida. Thrown out. Jack Smith, oh, hold on, hold on. Jack Smith wasn't even, <clears throat> wasn't even legally made a special prosecutor. It has to be done by the Congress, <clears throat> by the Senate. And that's why it was thrown out. That killed both his case in Washington and in Florida. He's not even legal to do what he's doing. But the DOJ yes. put him up to it. Yes. These shenanigans. Now, yo, well, you must be a Trump lover. That's not the issue. We're talking about justice, truth and justice. But but, but is what they call uh, uh when we're in the um on the street, we, we, we call that street talk. Oh, yeah, bring it on, bring it on. But he said, you might still not be the nominee. First of all, not nobody voted for you. They voted for Joe Biden. And they disenfranchised 14 million voters. And they did that purposely to make sure it was a closed election. They even, New Hampshire, they closed. Florida, they, they didn't even have a pr primary there at all. They made sure RFK couldn't be in any um, Democratic primary. There was not going to be any significant challenge to Joe Biden. They planned this, Brother Clifton. So they can do what they're doing now, that the so-called elite would choose the nominee. Not the people. Not the people, but the elite would choose who they were going to. Of course, that person is going to do everything they want. Not for you, but for them. You see, they don't care about the United States of America. They just care about themselves. And some people would say, well, that's how it is. Well, then I call that treason. Because it's going to lead to that. This is not a third world country. It really isn't. Though it's being turned into one. Yes. You know what? Donald Trump, because I have confidence in his abilities, because I've seen it when he was president for four years. We had no wars. We had um, uh, people not coming over the over the the border like it doesn't exist because you don't have a border, you don't have a country. And so he stands up to want to uphold the Constitution, whether you like him or not. It's not the issue. The issue of it is: is he following the Constitution? Do you have money in your pocket? Are you able to feed your family? Do you have a job to go to? Is the country running smoothly? At least to a point. The country now, I was in Walmart in, in, in 19, uh, 19, I mean, um, 2020, um, fruit cocktail at Walmart for the dollar 86. Right now, it's three dollars and 64 cents. Gas was a dollar 87. Now, it's four dollars or something. Five dollars, you get premium. Some people's cars only take premium. This is unsustainable. You can't get a house. The interest rates are so high. You can't get a house even if you got good credit. And if you have good credit and can find a decent home, it's four and five and six hundred thousand dollars. And you're just getting started. New family. I'm gonna tell you, you can't afford that. You can't even afford an apartment. They want eighteen hundred to twenty five hundred dollars for a one bedroom apartment. 
The reason, let me answer your question. The reason why they should vote for me, because I yeah. am you. Yes. I understand the things that common people are going through because I'm common myself. I'm not no big eye. I'm a little you. And mm -hmm. I'm not saying you're a little. I'm saying if I was a big you, a big me, speaking like that, big me, I want you to big, 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 big too. Yes. But our issues must be addressed federally. You need a voice that's not going to sit here and play with you with some nonsense. I'm talking about get the job done for the masses of the people. Marcus Lewis's name is on every ballot in every precinct in the first congressional district. I'm asking you to use it. I'm asking you to vote for me. I'm asking you to vote for President Trump because they don't even know who their nominee is really and the person that got there don't even want to consider themselves black oh they may want the color but they don't want the struggle they don't want that black struggle oh no 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 like thailand vietnam china and all the like that's why they're not here president trump said you're coming back home right now the illegal has it better than a regular american citizen they're giving them fifty thousand dollars for their first startup home at zero interest loan fifty thousand dollars what are they giving you american they're not giving you nothing they are replacing us now they want them to be voters that's a democratic scheme. Wow. that's a democratic screen yes. you see they're all about some type of con job yes. i'm not saying republicans have never been there but look i'm not a reagan republican i'm not a bush republican I'm not a Goldwater Republican, Nixon Republican. No, I'm a Donald J. Trump Republican. But first, above all, I'm an American and I'm a child of the most high God. And I'm here to tell you, I'm doing everything I can to help you. I'm on the ballot. The one thing, you don't need millions of dollars. I'm on the ballot. Do you need millions of dollars for you to push or punch my name? No. You just have to dig down deep and say, I want better than just a name we know. Okay, you know. Have ignored because they figure they don't have to. Now, I'm here to tell you that's a disservice to the constituents because this is a public job. If it be me, it wouldn't matter. I'm going to debate because I'm going to stand on my record and that's the way it is. Other than that, then you claiming it and this, this is my seat. I ain't going to take a chance because I don't want the voters to vote me out. But again, there was an old adage. It, He's absolutely. Crazy. Look, he could be whatever he wants. One, one thing I did, he should, as a congressperson, since he's got the job, he should stand before the constituents and vote the other side. I'm not just a candidate. I'm the Republican nominee. He didn't have a, he didn't have a challenge. I won my primary, so I'm raring to go. I understand what a victory is. He could say, well, I won in 22. That'd be true. But only a, uh, 18,000, you only won by uh, with a total of 18,000 in uh, your primary. Of course, it's a Democratic district, so of course you're going to, they gave it to you in the general, but there were 17 candidates. I was one of them. You only got 18,000 votes. 18,000. That's all. Yeah. I've had more than that in my primary myself. 18,000. Let me tell you something. That brother needs to stand before the people with me standing next to him. And we can, like I say, let's get ready to rumble. Let's get it on. Let's yeah. get this question yeah. and answer session so the people can see who they really want in that seat. You a lot of time for you. To all your listeners and to all those that aren't looking live, but looking in record. I thank you for watching this broadcast. I thank you for this brother, uh, Clifton, for bringing this um, forum up and giving me the opportunity that you may be able to ask me questions and then they be able to hear me out. Hopefully there's something that uh, you can take and you can say, well, I'm gonna think about that. And I'm gonna think about that brother. That brother says some very profound things. If I cause you to at least think, and please think before it becomes illegal, I'm asking you to consider me strongly to be your next congressman because this is not a joke. This is not dress rehearsal. This is real life.
we need someone like myself and I have done a whole lot to get this far. And all I need is the voters. Now, what I need you to do, go to my website. I'm not asking you for your money. That's what most politicians ask for. They ask for your money. I'm asking you to go get 10 to 20 people and get them registered to vote. I want you to get excited about living in America that we're going to put Marcus Lewis, a common man. I'm an ordinary man doing an extraordinary thing. And I'm thankful for that. I thank God. I give God the glory in Jesus' name. But I am here to assist us. The job is only 730 days. And then after that, I'll stand before you again. We'll have town halls. I'm not going off to Washington. You'll never hear from me. We're going to have monthly town halls when I'm congressman. And we're going to have people that are from the district in the office yes. so they can see from the inside how government works and how a district office should um, help the constituents. We're not going to have these pros. No, we're going to have common people like myself in the office. And there are a lot of competent people. When I win, best believe, ding, 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 ring, 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 ring. I'm going to be, my phone going to be blowing up. And we'll have our people ready to take your resumes. And I will interview you myself because the type of office I want is one that works for us. My, 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 my father's good. Only God, only God is good. God is good, but then he puts on those whom he have pleasure to do that. And so we're asking him for his mercy in debate. Don't vote for him because he doesn't care about you. He doesn't want to hear from you. He said, just give me a vote and I'll see you in two years. That's not an efficient way of running our seat of government. It's our federal voice. And he's not speaking loudly. He's not saying the things I want to hear. He's not voting the way I want him to vote. And so we want to break up this machine and put in a new thing. It's called doing it right. You can call me at 708-287-7531. That's a direct line to me. Go to MarcusLewisForCongress.org is my website. And once again, you can call Ed Ham. Now look, I'm, I'm giving you the number, 713-203-4513. Ed Ham is Jonathan Jackson's chief of staff. And outside of that, I can do no more. And then you can also do one thing that we all need to do. And that father was no one. <laughs> Any message for your grandchildren? Great, great. Some people don't know what's in that state. Wow. They got video screens. <laughs> I mean, from maybe from here to 35th Street. Those street cameras, right? Those are the screens like you watch on a computer. Right, right, mm. right. All right. They got a room where they listen to conversations all around the country. All right? <laughs> That's why I can say what I say. But, but they oh. let me go because he was an important person. And they 
thinking if he was pregnant. <laughs> it was all right. All right, they made a mistake, but I know what they 